All right, I'm gonna show you how to build off our previous tutorials and in CSGO find a, uh, a net var offset, which is something people always struggle with. It's actually really easy. First thing you need to do, you need to go to guidedhacking.com slash start here. It's gonna give you a step-by-step -step instructions on how to learn game hacking. You'll want to check out step number six, um, which is basically a C++ trainer tutorial for Assault Cube. We're gonna use that in this tutorial, so you need to do that first and all the prerequisite tutor tutorials. All right, so you should be able to find health by now in basically any game in CSGO. It's a four byte integer. And now just like any time we do work with Cheat Engine, the finding offset is pretty easy. Just right click it and do find out what access is. We're immediately gonna see that FC is the offset and ECX is the address of the player object. And, and so that's really easy. But what about all the other uh, netvar offsets? How do you find them? Um, well, the first thing I just wanna show you real quick is how to find the health uh, pointer and the pointer to the player object. So we're gonna right click the health. We're gonna do a pointer scan for this address. We know the offset, so we're gonna we're going to tick this and put the last offset in here. We know that uh, in CSGO that the player object pointer, is, it's just, it's a pointer that points to the player object, and then you want to offset into that object. It's just a one level offset, right? So we're going to set it to max level one and make this really quick. Now, if you just click OK, it's going to generate a pointer map for you from the get go. I've already created one to make this tutorial easier for me and faster. So we'll just open that as a comparison pointer map. Click OK. We're going to save our pointer list to, to this guy right here. Now, once it's done, you usually get like four or five off, uh, pointers here. And so basically any of these is going to work almost all the time. But I have to know that this one on the top is the best one. So you have the module base address and the relative offset. And that points... At that address, if you dereference it, you get the player object. If you then add FC, you get to the address of the health variable. So we're going to double click that and we're going to add it. Always save your pointer tables and hold on to them. Let's say you used one of these and it stopped working. You can always go back to, to this pointer scan. And so you don't have to recreate a pointer list every time. And so there is our health pointer. Now, you may not be able to easily find uh, these variables. Like someone wants to know, uh, how do you find the offset for the competitive rank value? And that's actually the inspiration for this tutorial. So how do you do that? Well, I'm gonna show you right now, it's easy. So we are going to right click the CSGO, um, open file location. If this is a Steam, uh, if this is a Steam Shortcut, it's not going to work. But anyways, uh, you're in this folder here. Go to csgo.bin, and then you're going to open a client panorama.dll in IDA. We're just going to drag it and drop it. We're going to click OK. Now it wants us, I guess, that uh, that DLL uh, links with this one. So we have to find it. It's easy. It's in the CSGO root directory slash bin. We don't have the PDB, obviously, because we didn't write CSGO ourselves. Wait till uh, Ida does its thing. Once you get to the disassembly here, you'll do a uh, hold shift and hit F12. That's gonna generate a list of strings in the binary. Once you have the list of strings, control F opens the find window and we wanna find the net far uh, M underscore I health, right? And we're gonna see it right here. We will double click it and that's gonna bring us to the location of that data. And we are gonna right click it and jump to cross reference to operand and we can click either of these, I believe. And then we will get the, uh, the instructions that actually grab the offset uh, for the netvar. And we're gonna see that the, 
the offset right here is FC for health, life state is 25B, ammo is probably uh, 2D68. Uh, now let's try to find something else here. Let's try uh, M underscore I shots fire just for a little test and uh, open this guy, right click it, jump to cross reference to operand, click OK and shots fired equals uh, a to c0 so let's we want let's say we want to see that in cheat engine so we know this is our base address pointer for a player object so we're going to copy and paste that add a new address make it a pointer copy and paste it in and then we're going to add 0 a to c0 and we're going to call it m shots fired Currently zero. Let's open CS:GO. Yeah. There we go. Uh, so now if we shoot our gun, we can see it. It changes from uh, zero to one. So we know we have the right. Uh, that's how you get net var offsets. Now other offsets um, are not net vars, so they don't have these special structs made. So uh, you just have to find them the normal way. Now let's uh, make a quick C++ app just to play with these for fun. And to do that, remember you're going to want to do this tutorial and you can uh, the source code is available. You just have to download it right there. And when you open it up, uh, it will look something like this. And all we have to do is up this, update this stuff. So we're going to update the executable to CSGO. We're going to change this to client uh, panorama.dll. Uh, the dynamic pointer base address, if we go to, to cheat engine, remember that is this uh, relative offset right here. So we're going to add that in right there, put an X in it to make a hex. And we're not going to be doing uh, ammo. What we're going to be doing is health. But you know what? I'm going to show you a little trick here. We're going to actually delete that whole line. Instead of ammo offsets, we're going to make an initializer list with the uh, curly braces. And we're going to just type in 0xfc. And so that will be a initializer list for that vector. And we just need to change a few things here. We just need to change this to health address, right? Copy and paste it to overwrite all these things that don't make sense. Right? Ammo address. Ammo address. Ammo address. This needs to be health. 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 Health value. We can just copy and paste into these places. And we actually can't write to health because health is server-sided. So bingo, we can't do anything to it. So we're actually just going to uh, delete this whole section right here. And the health value buffer that we're going to read out to is right there. So remember, you need to run this as administrator. And I hope you did the previous tutorial so you already know that. So let's make sure CSGO is running. It always pauses. And so now let's run the window, let's run it in the debugger, and we see a current health equals 100. We can confirm in cheat engine that, uh, that these addresses are correct. The dynamic pointer it ends in 85C, which we see right here. The health address is 9F3C on the end. And we see that, so there you go. Uh, the source code for that C++ trainer is really good. Everyone should use it, and uh, you'll be using it in all the future external hacking tutorials. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Please join on the forum. Join in the conversation. We've been getting a lot of good feedback lately. I appreciate uh, all of our donators, all the people who contribute to the forum and make it a really great place. If you love our videos, please go to guidedhacking.com slash donate. You can become a Patreon. You can donate with PayPal. You get a few perks for donating. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, 